Hello and welcome and thank you for joining us. We are at the junction here in Craig Hall Park. I'm joined by the legend Hugh Bladen. It's time to know the man behind the voice. Something a bit different, Uncle Hugh. Welcome. How are you doing? Very good, thanks, folks. It's nice to be here, as always, with you. Yeah, it's good times. I mean, talking about famous people, I was going to famous faces, and, and you know, nowadays we can use digital to do our research. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it says here, yeah, and it stipulates that you were educated at Capes, you were first team cricket captain, you played first team soccer, Victor Lundron, in athletics. Yeah. Um, Uncle, it's just sports for you. What I is it? did go off to Kips. I did go to Kiss. Oh, no, you made and it. I made it. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just the, 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 the lifestyle and, and what sports has brought to you and um, just what, what is it the thing that sort of made you gravitate towards it? Uh, well, I think the first thing was that I always found it relatively easy to catch a ball. Standard. And relatively easy to run quite quickly. Yeah. Um, and then I think, you know, the, the biggest thing one gets out of, out of playing sport and being in the sporting environment is the camaraderie, the team spirit, the friends you make for life and, uh, you know, just generally being involved in, in team sports. I've, I've, I wasn't a great uh, individual sure. sports player, yeah. um, but team sports were always uh, uh, part of my life and a part of my, you know, upbringing and heart and yeah. schooling and the whole type of thing. 1976 comes and South Africa gets television and is broadcasting. All of a sudden, you've got a mic in your hand. Just take us through that. Yeah, well, you know, again, it was a, a situation of having been MC at dinners and that type of thing. And my great broadcasting mentor was. Chick Henderson, who was chairman of Wanderers Rugby Club, yeah. and he was big mates with uh, Kim Shippey, who became manager of English Speaking Sport when television started in 1976. Yeah. And Kim, I think, spoke to Chick and said, I'm looking for a, an English speaking person who's played pr at least provincial rugby. Uh, who do you think could, could be that would man. be the guy? Yeah. And uh, Chick recommended me. And so Kim phoned me up and said, would I like to commentate? Those things sort of happened in I life. said yes. <laughs> I said yes. I hadn't given it much thought in my life. Yeah. And he said, okay, would you like to try? And I said, yeah, great. He said, good. On Saturday, Transvaal are playing the All Blacks, you're in. Boom. And that's how they started? As a, as a, as a so-called expert yeah. opinion, yeah. Uh, I went in and did that for four years before I called a game. Now we're going to do something a bit different. We're going to do the rapid question. Please don't dwell on it and think about it. Just give me the answer. I'll try. <laughs> What's the one thing that scares? Rats. South African rugby player that you'll take on a date? None. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, thanks. Thanks for that. <laughs> uh, your go-to drink in the morning? Have a cup of coffee every morning. The one talent that you wish you had? I, I would really like to have had a, a, a talent to play a musical instrument yeah. without too much effort. What would be the message that you would like someone to know about you, about how you approach this? I, I think, you know, stick to your guns, um, be true to yourself. Uh, I, I always believe that, you know, nobody is too important. I think, I think humility is a is a good attribute I, I like to think that i'm pretty humble i don't think i'm a big deal um but you know obviously one does get thrown into the public eye a little bit but i'm never conscious of saying you know this is me this is me sort of thing or do you and know I, who i am do you know <laughs> <laughs> don't you know yourself That's the worst <laughs> the worst yeah the absolute worst um so yeah, you know, I would say humility and, and being true to your friends, being and loyalty. You know, yeah. loyalty to me is uh, 
a very important part of my life. Well, thank you for being all the loyal fans out there and for you, from us, it's lots of love. <laughs>